Okay, listen, let me start by saying I know how to spell. The title of this video is Talkin' to God. Not Talkina, not Talkina, it's Talkina. I know the proper term is talking to God, but that's not how super dopealicious individuals say it. We say Talkina, Talkina, Talkin' to God. It rolls right off the tongue. Cool, smooth, like me. All right, now that we got that clear, let go. And this is the music I play at the beginning of every one of my videos. This is my place and my channel, my station. Like and subscribe, it's the bell for post notification. So you won't be waiting. Pushing the good gospel vibes and we stopping now, Satan. All on the video. Here we go, here we go. What is up, my brothers and sisters? Hopefully you're having a good day. Got a little something for you to chew on. There's a resource that we have access to. A tool kit. Better than Batman's utility belt. Better than Mary Poppins' big bag of stuff. Better than whoever you know's super coolest whatever. Unless you're talking about what I'm talking about in this video, in which case... Ah, yeah! You know what's up! The resource, my friends, is prayer. Prayer is freaking awesome, man. But I'm not gonna call it prayer right now. You are not gonna call it prayer? No, not gonna call it prayer. Well, what you gonna call it then? Chill out, I'm about to tell you. I'm gonna call it talking to God. I'm gonna call it that because although prayer is talking to God, for a lot of people, the term prayer has a certain formal, formalitical, formalisticaciousness. See, people think you gotta do it a certain way. You're doing it wrong. Bow your head. You're doing it wrong. Close your eyes. You're doing it wrong. Fold your hands. Wrong again. Bend the knee. Shadow Game of Thrones. Bowing, kneeling, standing, laying across the floor, hands folded, hands raised. I mean, who came up with this stuff? Actually, I think there's a legit ancient reasoning behind this. When you place yourself in these positions, it symbolizes submission, humbleness, trust in God. So it's not a bad thing, but you don't have to be in those positions to be in that mindset. Self high five. Author Max Lucado says, the power of prayer is in the one who hears it, not the one who says it. Oh yes, you better preach, Max. So say it how you feel it. The important thing is that you're talking to God. Listen, talking to God is just dope. Talking to God is like better than the best massage you've ever had. Like better than the best food you've ever eaten. Food so good that when you eat it, you just gotta shake your head like, mm. Are you real? Look, amazing things happen in prayer. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're angry, like super duperlicious angry. This is talking to God when you feel like that. Yo, God. What up? You look different than I thought you would. I look how you feel comfortable talking to me. Huh? It's like the Captain Marvel movie. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, God. What up? Yo, my kid, I'm about to. I know. This kid had the nerve to. I know. Ooh, God, I'm about to. I know you're about to. I know what you should do. Of course you know what I should do. What should I do? Let it go. Let it go, exactly, God. I knew you was. Hold on, what you said now? Let it go. Now, why in the heaven's glory would I do that? I'm over it. Let me ask you something. Okay. You want to be stressed out? No. You want to be mad at your kid every time you see him? No. Let it go. You can calm down. They can calm down. It'll be dope. But let it go, though, God? Let it go. Take him to ice cream. Talk about what happened. I got to take him to ice cream, too? It's on me. What you mean it's on you? You left $20 in your jeans yesterday. Get the money. Get some ice cream. All right, bet. My guy. My God. Let me tell you why that was so dope. I could have come up with let it go on my own, but because I was in the state of mind I was in, my reasoning wasn't able to arrive at that dope conclusion. But God got me where I couldn't get myself. God helped me help me. Now I'm gonna be a better person. Come on, somebody. It don't matter what God gotta do, gotta get you through. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. Then you will experience God God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So here's my challenge to you. Pray to God. You ain't gotta be formal. You ain't got to be fancy. Say it with your chest. Oh, it'll bless you. Be blessed and have a wonderful day. Dance time. <laughs>